To start off solving absolute value, we have to isolate the absolute value bars. So we have four times all this stuff is equal to 56. So the first thing I have to do is divide both sides by four to isolate the radical, or isolate, I'm sorry, the absolute value. Um, N plus eight in the absolute value bars is equal to, well, 56 divided by four is 14. Okay, from here, I have to set up two equations, because remember, the value inside the absolute value can either be equal to positive 14 or negative 14. So I have to look at both cases. So the first way, let's look at where uh, n plus 8 is equal to positive 14. And then we're going to look at where is n plus 8 equal to negative 14. Okay, and from here we just solve two basic equations. So the first one I just subtract 8 from both sides and I get n is equal to 6. So that's one of my solutions. Now I've got to go over here and do the same thing. I subtract 8, but this time I'm subtracting it from a negative 14. So I actually end up adding those and that's negative 22. So I get n is equal to negative 22. So I have two solutions, okay? So let's look at a second equation. This one's a little more involved because we have more stuff over here with our absolute value. So just like a basic equation, think of this as just 3x equals 5. Well, if you were to solve that, you would just add 5 to both sides, and then you would divide by 3. We're going to do the same thing with the absolute value. You're going to add 5. So you get 3 times the absolute value of 4x plus minus 1 is equal to 15. And we've got to isolate the, the um, absolute value, so we're going to divide by 3. And so we're left with the absolute value of 4x minus 1 is equal to a positive 5. Now remember, what's in the, ra in the absolute value bars can equal, either equal to positive 5 or negative 5. So let's set up our two cases. Case 1 is equal to the positive value. Case 2 is equal to the negative value. Okay, so these are just two-step equations. You add 1, so you get 4x equals 6. So x is equal to 6 fourths or 3 halves. Okay, over here we're going to add 1, but this time we're adding it to the negative, so we get negative 4 is equal to 4x. Divide both sides by positive 4, so x is equal to negative 1. So we have two solutions, negative 1 and 3 halves. Okay, hope this video is helpful.